So, you know how to make a bunny hold. Now, let's talk about what to do with those pesky ears. First, let's review. Our bunny hold is made up of three points of contact. Okay, the first knuckle of your ring finger, the first knuckle of your middle finger, and the inside edge of your thumb. Okay, you put those together relaxed, you're going to end up with a bunny hold. You've got a floppy index and a floppy pinky. All right, after you can do that, completely relaxed, Put a carrot in your bunny's mouth. Okay. Still relaxed. Wiggle your index and pinky finger. All right. Now, what do we do with these ears? First, we're going to talk about the index finger. I'd like to introduce you to something called the magic X. Okay. So that's on the middle section of my index finger. I've drawn a magic X on the middle section of my index finger. Why is it called a magic X? Because when I put it down on the carrot or the bow, that X is going to disappear. Here's our bunny hold, and there's our magic X. Okay, it disappears against the carrot or the pencil. Okay, again, here's our bunny hold. Here's our index finger going down and our magic X disappearing. Okay, now this is where violins and violas are a little bit different than cellos and basses. If you play violin or viola, your pinky goes on its tip. Okay, and that's a perfect bow hold. Okay, you've got a curved pinky, curved thumb, curved index. Okay, and your bunny nose is still curved. Cellos and basses. We're going to go back to bunny hold with the index finger on the carrot. All right, now we need to talk about what to do with this pinky. Cellos and basses, you put your pinky down next to your ring finger. Okay, so your pinky is not on its tip. Okay, your pinky is still relaxed and curved. Index finger still relaxed and curved, thumb still relaxed and curved, but it looks a little bit different than a violin hold. So, violin and viola, this is a perfect bow hold. Cello and bass, here's your perfect bow hold. Thank you for watching.